Now welcome to the second session of next year UPSC class. We are discussing theory of economic growth propounded by Sumpeter. Sumpeter is very famous for his book on decline of capitalism. So Peter say that the economic growth is due to many factors, social and economic. But the innovation, innovation is the most important factor. which increase economic growth. What is innovation? We all know invention. Invention is done by scientists. There are so many inventions successfully established by scientists. When, when invention is successful, entrepreneur will utilize that invention in the field of production. When invention is utilized in the field of production, it is known as innovations. For example, a steam, a steam has power. Who has invented a steam power? James Watt. And this steam power is invention, but a steam power is utilized in the manufacture of a steamer. A steam power is utilized in the manufacture of pressure cooker. A steam power is utilized in running a railway engine. These are called innovations. So innovations are the root cause of economic growth and development. More and more innovations are being done. In the USA, large number of innovators are working day and night. Innovation is so important that so Peter said that B line, B means Madhumakhi, B, B lines. Look on the board. This is called a static growth. And this is called dynamic growth and this is called B this is called B B line <coughs> series of innovators are doing innovations day and night. They say B line of growth this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. economic growth by successful innovation. This is years, time, time period. B 
बी लाइन सुमिचार Induced investment is represented by capital I subscript small i I I. Autonomous investment is I A. R stands for interest rate, K stands for capital, Pi stands for profit. Induced investment is a function of interest rate, capital and profit. And autonomous investment IA is a function of lambda, epsilon, Eta. Lambda stands for population chain, Ypsilon technology chain, Eta innovation chain, innovation chain, technology chain, population chain, all these are long term parameters which are influencing autonomous investment. Investment is the engine of economic growth. Investment is the engine of economic growth. And investment is of two types. Number one, induced investment. Number two, autonomous investment. Induced invest investment means short-term investment. Autonomous investment means long-term investment. Short-term investment is influenced by change in interest rate, other things remaining the same, lowering the interest rate, increasing the induced investment. Similarly, other things remaining the same, change in the size of capital, there will be increase in the induced investment. So increase in the K, there will be increase in I, induced investment. And lastly, profit rate. Profit rate right in, induced investment right in. So if we take all these things like this, then del I, del R less than zero. Del I, del K more than zero. Del I, del Pi more than zero. And therefore, 
I curve will be downward. Here I curve will be upward. Here I curve will be upward. I am pi profit. I capital. I interest rate. So this is the character. This is the character of short-term investment. Investment curve may be downward sloping with respect to interest rate. Investment is upward sloping with respect to the capital. Invest induced investment is upward sloping with respect to the inducement with respect to the profit rate. So Peter said that investment depends upon the decision of the entrepreneurs, a decision of the innovators. So innovation is the most important factor prevailing in the capitalism. Those innovators whose invention, who use invention in productive purposes are acceptable in the society. In that in innovators get profit. So Peter said that profit is the cause and effect of innovations. Role of entrepreneur is most important in capitalist economy. Capitalist economy goes upward, production will increase upward if there is successful innovations. You can see on the board B line innovators. B line means B is a fly which never uh, uh, fly alone. There are a large number of fly, B fly, and therefore large number of innovators working day and night in a developed country to have new innovation. Some innovations are successful, some innovations are failure. Failure means no profit. If innovation is successful, then there is a profit. We all know that innovations is going on in mobile. Every six months your mobile will be outdated. Thank God he did not apply to the husband or wife. In the age of robotics and artificial intelligence, what will happen in the last stage is very difficult to forecast. In, in, in India, nowadays in different universities, Hyderabad and uh, Madras, uh, engineering courses started in artificial intelligence and robotics. So, successful innovations will bring profit and failure innovations will lead to loss. So, right in fall of the capitalist economy is function of work of innovators. Large number of innovators are operating in the capitalist economy. One is successful, he will be rewarded with high profit. But what will happen? Large number of other innovators will follow him and imitate Nagarkarna. Follow him, imitate his finding and you apply in different underdeveloped countries. In our country it is said duplicate. Original will there at a high rate and duplicate will follow everywhere. So this uh, imitations of the original innovation will depress the innovators. The new innovators will overcome it and again new innova innovation will come up. If you imitate Pentium 1, Pentium 2 will come. If you imitate Pentium 2, Pentium 3 will come, Pentium 4 will come, Pentium 5 will come. 
2D, 3D, 4D, now we are talking about 5D. So innovations is replaced by another high grade of innovations and this goes on and this is the source of uh, invest, investment. This is the force of investment. Innovation is called as well as the effect of growth. More growth, more innovation. More innovation, more growth. This will go on and this is called theory of economic growth established by Sumpeter as innovating as innovations as the cause and effect of economic growth. In the long run, population will be an important factor. In the long run, environment of innovations will be an important factor. In the long run, technological application will be an important factor. But in the short run, the inducement to invest may be affected by variations in interest rate, variations in the size of capital, variations in the rate of profit. But the ultimate effect upon the capitalist economy, economic growth takes place with the help of innovations. This is called innovation theory established by Sue Peter, American economist. That's all. Thank you.